is Amy and welcome to my channel. This is my second Christmas in July video. Let's get started on making gifts that people will love. This is a coffee uh, cup that I had and I bought some uh, sponges through Dollar General and we're going to make a stamp with this. I got my Sharpie and I decided to make a tree. It's very, you know, simple to draw on and went with that and I had my razor blade and I'm just cutting it out and then I'm going to make a handle on it so I can dip it into the acrylic paint. Now there is a technique that's called sponge stamping and I did look this up and so I learned what I could on doing this technique. There's actually a company in England that they make a lot of pottery and they stamp on there. And so this is acrylic. I don't know if chalk paint would work or not, but I guess I would go with this because we're going to bake it on and it works great. I do know from experience that you can do this and make it permanent. So fill up your or put it on your stamp and you know how you want it to look. And then by looking at that video on that company that makes pottery, they just did a roll on technique like I'm showing here. Just kind of start on the side, re-stamp each time and put fresh paint on it. Try to, you know, take your time doing it without smudging it and have fun with it. I wanted to put the uh, wood part on the tree and so I'm just taking a little brown and doing the same thing with a little piece of the, the uh, sponge. I wasn't quite done yet so I actually took another little piece and just going to do a little bit of random stamping over the rim of the cup and have fun with that too. I do believe in the 90s, this was kind of a popular thing to, you know, we had crafts and stuff that we could buy and it was kind of in for a while and I did love it then. And it's kind of fun to see some of that stuff has come back. And there it is. Now go ahead and get your oven turned on at 350 and let it preheat. And then when it's ready, you can pop that in and let it just bake right there on the oven racks at 350 for 30 minutes. Let it cool in the oven, just don't touch it. And when you get pick it out, it'll be cool and it can be washed. It will not come off. This would make a great gift for someone. People like handmade gifts. This would be fun. If someone gave me this, I would treasure it. Now, you want to think about what you could put inside of it. I decided to put some hot cocoa in there. You could put a candy cane. You could add in a chocolate spoon, that kind of a thing. What a great gift idea and not very expensive. Let's keep rolling. We've got more to see. DIY number two. Now these are little cobblestone figures. I bought this at Dollar Tree. And we're just going to use one of them, the snowman today. Um, and then I have this very cute little, it's like a miniature mason jar, but they're plastic. Um, but for a dollar, a dollar and a quarter, you know, the, to me they're adorable. I'm showing you the first technique that I would not recommend that you do because I just wanted to show you I had a lot of trouble with um, doing it individually. I would put the glue on it and hold it and then, you know, kind of came off. So I just fussed with this and finally ended up removing everything and I'll show you what I ended up doing. Also, if you put hot glue in that little jar, it actually kind of melts the jar, <laughs> which I found out too. This is actually, when I did it the other way, I had a second jar that I ended up using. So here I'm still trying to get this to work and struggling. Took everything out decided to just get my cardstock and just cut out a circle 
and I ended up shaving this down so it's a smaller circle and I took my little pieces and I glued them to the circle and that seemed to work a whole lot easier get those on there have them you know ready to go then take the entire piece put some glue on the bottom of that and stick it in and that worked like really like a charm that worked great okay now we're just about done I've got some of this pretty glitter use whatever glitter you want or Epsom salt or you know salt even would work sprinkle that in and what I wanted to do is kind of make it so it's just full of looking like snow it's really not meant for a shaking thing it's just meant to look like you know they're standing in the snow you could add a little sign in there I mean you could do a lot of different things than what I just did here but just showing you the idea the lid was too shiny so I dulled it down with some of that uh, Waverly fern color and then put a little ribbon on it and I called it good and I do I love how it turned out I don't think anyone would complain if you gave them a gift like this I would love it and affordable too So fun and so cute. Let's keep moving on. We've got more to see. Craft DIY number three. Now this one, we're just going to make a cover for a gift card. And I have the dimensions. I will also list those in the description box. If you've got a cutter, it'd be great. Um, but if you don't, it doesn't matter. You can still make this work. This cutter also has like a scoring blade on it. And so I'm just putting the score marks in it and it helps make it so you can fold it easier. You do not have to have a scoring blade. You can just fold it at these spots. Very easy. And now you can see I've got like a folder for my gift card. And I want to make it a little pocket. And so I'm going to get out my very favorite tear and tape uh, adhesive that I can get through Stampin' Up. There's other brands or, you know, you could use glue if you wanted to. I just prefer this because it's not messy and it's very easy to use. And for stickiness, it is great. It just sticks so well. I know you've all seen me use, you know, these super adhesive kind of double-sided tapes in other things, and I'll show you more of what I'll be using this for. Sometimes it's fun with the paper crafting that it can uh, go, and, you know, you can work it into other crafts, too. This little pickup is a printable I'll have on my description box, and we're just kind of making a laugh of the price of our, you know, gasoline prices these days. So you're coming home for Christmas, you're going to need this, a gasoline gift card, another very practical and well-loved gift. Take the top and just write, you know, your person that you are looking forward to seeing, and then you can sign your name. And I think people would enjoy this and get a little laugh out of it, but very much appreciate it. And then just showing you, you can tuck that right into a regular envelope and mail that to someone if you wanted to. Or just put it on a, um, you know, hand it to them or give it to them on a gift. And it's ready to go. Let's keep going on the next DIY. This is a bucket. It was like in a, three of them from Dollar, no, it was from Target. And then this is part of a printable that I found on Etsy, and I'll link that one too. And I am just cutting this out so it's kind of right along the, that edge, uh, the black edge. And I got the hazelnut, because to me that worked the best. So I want to clean off my little tin pail and got some of the alcohol out, and then I made sure it was good and dry, nice and clean, without any oils. And then I put two coats of the hazelnut chalk paint on it. And 
And then I'm using one of those little um, makeup br brushes you can get from Dollar Tree. I know Stampin' Up! also sells them. Um, but I just want to put a little black in there just to kind of grunge it up, make it more farmhouse and cute looking. And then I got my nail file and I pulled off some of the color with that. Made it look a little more beat up and then I did take a paper towel and I ran over the entire thing to kind of buff it. Now we've got the Mod Podge and this is a matte and just simply going to lay that on there and it'll stay just fine. I did cover the entire bucket with the uh, Mod Podge. Now at this point you could do whatever you wanted with the bucket. I decided to just put some of this cute gingham fabric in there and of course it's got coffee on the front so i'm going to put some k-cups in there if you didn't have those you could just put a small package of coffee in there and i know people love coffee this would make a great gift that'll bring a smile to any coffee lover's face so fun check it out and then the container can be a little decor piece for whoever you gave it to. Well, we got more to see. Let's keep going. Okay, so these both are Dollar Tree items. This is like one of those little calendars and uh, one of those... Um, chalkboards and I'm going to tear it apart because I want to put this on the chalkboard and just make it a cute little thing for someone's desk. Figure out what you want to put on it and I'm using an acrylic pen by Arteza um, and obviously it's going to be permanent when you're using an acrylic pen. So you can do however you want. You could do it with um, you know chalk too if you wanted to make it so they could, you know, wipe it off. And since that's white, I'm just dotting on a little bit to uh, brighten up that chipped area. And again, I've got the acrylic paint marker out. I did end up changing that, but you'll see how I go through this process. Just going to glue that right on the chalkboard. And then I was kind of fussing with it and I decided I wanted it white to match the little cube. So I painted that a couple with a couple of coats. And let that dry. And then I just put a little steel, the gray on there just to give it like a wood look. And I was trying to have it really nice and dry so it would drag across. I had these cute little paper flowers. You could do whatever you know you chose. I decided to put these on just because I just thought they were so cute. And if you had this on a desk, it would really be a cute little thing to have. So when I was standing this thing up, it was kind of like it tipped forward a little bit. And so I ended up getting a couple little beads and I'll show you that to give it like legs. And then it was tipping back too much. So I'll show you how I ended up fixing this. So it is really nice and sturdy. But at this point I'd stand it up and it was tipping forward too much. Right now it's leaning so you can't tell. These colors are so pretty. 
Okay, so then here I'm going to put those cute little beads on there to give them legs. Just on the front. It's like, oh, that was a little much. So then I just had a little block of wood, of wood and I just did two glues and put that on the back. Then it worked really nice and it did not look like it was going to fall over at all. And here it is. I love how it turned out. That'd make something really cute on someone's desk. You could, you know, customize the flowers. You know, give it to somebody and I think they'd really like it. This is something someone would enjoy. Now, you saw that I'd taken off that other part for that little cube. I'm going to show you how I use that in my last DIY. There is the little house and then I'm going to use these little MDF paper, little blocks that I have on my Etsy shop and I'm going to put some pretty paper on there. I love this paper pack because it's full of very beautiful wood pages. When I can get that back in stock I will but I just wanted to show you they do have something equivalent at Hobby Lobby that you know is similar but you'll have to buy a couple sheets. This actually used one sheet of of the uh, 12 by 12 card stock or the paper that was on there or any paper would work whatever you wanted to do so using my double-sided tape I'm going to put on this very pretty paper take your time and pull that off and just place it right on there and it stays very nice and secure Another use for that good double-sided tape. And then using my little uh, file and just going to file it up and down and that cuts it on the end just perfectly. And when I was kind of trialing things I saw that I'm not going to be able to do what I want to with this with that little piece of the roof on it so I cut it off. And now I'm just going to do the same thing to all the boards. We had four pieces. This is the first one. Finished covering all of them. And then I got, I cut three, you can cut three or four layers of paper on your Cricut or stickers, I guess if you had that many, and just layer them. And it just actually makes it more like it's, you know, like a, um, well, you know, it just kind of sticks up a little bit. It just gives it a little more high-end look. And I'm just going to take each one and I'm going to spell out the word home. And I, I use the same glue. I use the glue stick to put them down and just hold them into place. And if you use enough of that glue, it will stick really nice. And just hold them down. Now at this point, if you didn't like this plain look, you could actually add in flowers or whatever. I wanted to make these kind of a, a door-like or, you know, with the hinges. So I'm just using some of the E6000 and the, the hot glue so it secures on there. Make sure your bottoms are all lined up so it'll sit nice and evenly and decided to put a little heart right in the middle of the O. There's a lot of things you could do with stuff like this. And I think anyone would enjoy this as a gift in their home. You could use different words like love, hope, you know, whatever you thought, even their last name. I hope you all enjoyed all my ideas that I've come up with. Like I said before, this is one of four. I'm going to keep going all this month with Christmas in July. I just think it's kind of fun. So thank you much. Please like and subscribe if you like this kind of thing. And have a great day. Bye-bye, my friends.